Good morning everybody. I hope that you all survived and come through this storm Dennis that we've had. It's been a bloody nightmare. I just took half my um my like porch thing out the back, sun roof thing. Just took half of that off, took that off last week, that was Kiara's fault. And then this week we've got Dennis. So, you know, I've got stuff all over the garden. I'm not gonna pick it up, it's a waste of bloody time because it's only gonna blow off again. So I'm just leaving it. It looks like a total tip, but hey ho, crap happens, doesn't it? But um, yeah, it's dying down a bit now. It was really crazy last night, really crazy. Woke me up about three o'clock, and I just heard this. I can't explain it. It sounded like I was in a bloody tunnel with just stuff pushing past, and I was in bed. You know, I got up to see if anything had moved or anything, but I couldn't see nothing. I really been went off on its travels yesterday afternoon. Um, thought I'd go for a little run around the estate, but um, hubby found out and brought it back, so that's good. So anyway, enough of my ramblings about the wind. Or oh, Dennis, sorry, Dennis. Um, I thought I nip on. So I'll show you this. I I hadn't got it before because I really weren't sure um, whether I'd connect with it or whether I wouldn't or whatever and that is the good tarot by Colette Baron Reed and then I kept seeing things and I, people saying you know oh it's a nice gentle deck and you know it's got none of the I mean I don't find a lot of the pictures scary anyway but it's got a lot of the sort of nice pictures you know not um what how can I put it not scary I suppose for some people so I thought I'd get it and have, have a little look for it and see what I think First impressions, good box, decent box, proper sturdy. It's not as hard as some of them other ones where, where you can't can't get it off. Because sometimes with my fingers and that, I, I mean, not just me, but a lot of people, I have troubles getting these these apart. You know, but this, this one's not too bad. Not too bad at all. It was on special um, on Amazon. So it was... Um, Eleven ninety nine UK pound um, for this, so I thought you know I'll be a mug to to pass it up when I you know I want to see what it does and how I connect with it. If I don't, then I will gift it or pass it along to somebody else. But for that price, is you know it's worth getting. You get a good little book with it, a little dumpy book, dumpy, prat, chunky book, not dumpy. <laughs> oh my god I've had this cold right I went and had my flu jab yeah went and had my flu jab stopped me getting the flu because my immune system because of the meds I take my immune system's pants so I went and had my flu jab I ain't thinking oh yeah I'll sell through this a couple of days later what, what happens I come down with the most horrendous bloody cold and um that's why I ain't been about for for like a week. I've been away with the bloody fairies, whatever you want to call it. All snotty and snuffly and awful. For I ain't going to come on here and try and do anything with a runny nose. You know, the last thing you want is see me snotty, innit? So, I've totally lost what I was talking about. Anyway, I had the flu jab. And I've had a cold. So... I really don't know what I was talking about, guys. <laughs> it's, it's, it's bloody gone. It's gone. I know they say when you've got fibromyalgia, right, you get this fibro fog. But I think I've just got fog. Seriously. I've, I've, I seriously think I've got issues because I can't... I go off on tangents, you know. So please excuse me. I'm going to put it down to, to the flu meds. Uh, that's what it is. Anyway. Right. Little book. That's what started me on this one. I want to say dumpy. Don't know what's matter with me. Ed. It's 116 pages. Black and white. Little um, write up about your cards. Uh, well, some of the cards got different names. Not many. But some have. It's. I'm trying to find where it is. Not organised either. 
today. Not at all. Not at all. She goes into a bit at the front, you know, about working with the good tarot, which which is pretty cool. And I like the end bit. It says, um, The good tarot was created to be inclusive and to honour the traditional as well. Trust and all will be well. So I, I thought that was really nice. And that goes by the elements. You know, your water, air, fire. And, um, earth. It says, where is it? Each element has a court consisting of page, messenger, which is the knight in traditional decks, queen and king. The 16 court cards represent attitudes and states of mind or awareness, such as encountering conditions with openness and a childlike wonder or innocence, the page. Or looking at them with confidence rooted in experience, mastery, skill and wisdom, which is acquired over time, which would be the king. The court cards can also represent people or aspects of a person's personality that influence the situation, which I, I really, I get that quite a lot. You know, when you look at something, it's not always the person, it's it's the influence that, that is coming into you at that time. And then it goes on about all different things. And then it says, you know, suits representative of 12 houses of the Zodiac. So you've got, you know, your air, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Water, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and finally Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and it's got, you know, all different numbers. It, and she goes into the number numerology of the card too. And then it's got the twenty-two trumps, which she's got a symbolic life themes. So, and she's put a little bit here, you know, like fall enthusiasm, magician, alchemy, empress fertility. And she's, she's got a few, a few sort of things here, you know, love, which is, is oneness, um, chariot, which is victory, strength, you know, all different bits in here. So it's, it's quite an okay book. I don't know if it's got any spreads. Let me have a little look. Oh, I can't see any. Let me see. No, I can't see any spreads in here. It does tell you like you about your free card spread and things like that. There's no diagrams of spreads, but it's an okay book. Right, now down to the cards. They're bigger. Then I'd say they're more oracle sized. Than tarot. They're a little bit glossy as you can see. Backs. Okay. Cardstock's alright. Who's published this? Let me have a little look. Hey house. So yeah, they are quite big, which makes you know for my hands, I don't know about you guys, but with the big ones I have to shuffle that way rather than the normal normal way what I would shuffle that way because it just it stretches stretches my hands too much so I, I, I tend to shuffle them lengthways and now I've put them all out of bloody order and I oh this is going to be a tits up video I'm so sorry but you're going to have to have to bear with me see if I can no I can't right they're not all in order now guys because I've just been a bit of a fool and shuffle them hmm Never mind. Right, there you go. Messenger of Air, which would be a knight. Queen of In, that beautiful. The images are gorgeous. They really, really are beautiful. So, you know, I love them. And they are gentle. They are really gentle cards. So, you know, you can also see, you know, a lot. What is in there? If you look really closely on the two of air, right, which would be your swords. I don't know if I can focus that in properly. On her tummy, she's got a mandala. I can't. It's right there. I don't know if you can see it. You might just see a little tiny bit of it, but I can't focus that in enough because that will blur. 
but they are they are truly are beautiful cards really really nice i love this one the five of air you know sometimes you look at it and you think mm, it's not sort of showing me the real traditional but in some of it it is now i haven't really done any readings with it yet i've just sort of had a little look through a little clean up but i just love the pictures i think the pictures are just so beautiful look at that one that's gorgeous i think they're all quite nice this one reminds me i don't know if any of you have seen it that well, you more than likely have um the oracle of mystical moments because in there we have got the same sort of card where she's got the the candles going around her head but that reminds me of that patience where she's just you know her heart's waiting she's just waiting you know and these are the this one is your devil card which i think is really beautiful because you know your temptation greed you know greed addiction sorrow what comes from it but yeah they are you know and that like i say that one is your devil card but it's temptation so it's renamed so some of them are some of them aren't tower star oh, that's pretty i love this one the moon card sun i think the artwork is just amazing you know, the images are really pretty and they're right when they say you know it's not it's not your hard deck if you've got someone who's a bit you know they're not gorgeous for a bit worried this is one of my favorite ones about the images on the decks and um i like you know sometimes you can get the quirky ones the whimsical ones and i think this one's just a nice it is what it claims to be it is a good tarot it's just a, a a real gentle hugging deck you know it tells you what you need to know but in a very very gentle way this is gorgeous the high priestess to be honest i love most of the images on here let's like say cardstock's okay no problems with the cardstock whatsoever whatsoever the gl gl glossiness ain't an issue with me you know it's not too much of it no. but it's just it is beautiful love that one This, I think, is really, really interesting for the Hermit card. You know, to shut yourself away, you've got all the keys to everything you need. But sometimes what you need is to just close that door, to be on your own, to reflect, to see what's what you need at that time. You know, it's not always what other people need or... You know, looking after other people. Sometimes you don't feel... You, that's really cool. Don't feel like seeing people. You just need your own space, your own time. It's okay to do that as well. It's your death card. I think that is gorgeous. I love the way, you know, like you can see the, the colours of your cup, your cups, or your water cards. Yeah, so they're quite easy to 
differentiate from each other. Look at that one, that is so... That's gorgeous. Isn't this beautiful? You've got to see this, it is just so, it just makes me so happy. Isn't he beautiful? Make sure to rub his little tummy. And earth, I'm an earth sign. Right, these are, it's just a stunning deck, it really is. Like I say, I don't know how I'm going to read with it, but I don't th see any sort of problems or anything coming there. The Two of Pentacles, you know, your balance, your everything. And if you look up close, up the top, there's your, your face. Just beautiful. He's wonderful. I just think they're really gorgeous. <laughs> Wonderful. But yeah, so I really like it. I think it's really, really stunning. If you're concentrating on, on a card a day, or you, you know, there's a lot to go into if you're, you know, if you pull a card a day and you need to reflect on that card and concentrate on that card, or even for the week. You know, it is a really, really gorgeous deck. So, um, I'm really pleased that I've got it. So, I hope you're all going to have a fabulous day. And um, I might be back in a minute because I'm thinking about doing something else or adding something else to my channel. I don't know. I'd love your comments below, please. Um, I'm thinking about doing because I'm I'm believe in paranormal. I believe in um, spirits, I have seen spirits, I believe in, or ghosts, whatever you want to call them, I have seen them. Um, I believe that we can communicate. And I have a spirit box, which, you know, I like to use, I haven't used it for a while. I'm thinking about going out, me and hubby going out and going around and seeing if we can pick up or communicate with spirits. But I'm thinking about doing one for the channel. So, um, if you could give me your comments below on what you think, because I'd like to incorporate more things, not just tarot, because, you know, part of my spirituality, so that you can get to know me. Um, you know, again, you know, if you're not interested in that sort of thing, and I made the video, you don't, nobody's under any obligations whatsoever to watch it. And um, I just thought I'd ask for a little bit of feedback for it. So, have a good day, guys. Um, enjoy what you're doing. Stay out of the wind if you're in UK. Um, all keep safe, keep happy, and I'll see you soon. Bye.